I was born in 1921 in Egypt. I received a high society French education through which I learned of the elegance of Parisian women. What I have in my eyes is something that I was born with. Egypt is a color for me. The sand is the most beautiful sand I have ever seen, a rose-tinted beige. I grew up in a wealthy and intellectual family, and our house was full of books. My mother was passionate about fashion, and a seamstress would come to our house and make clothes for the family, inspired by illustrations from French fashion magazines. When I was a young girl, there was a little boy, Raymond. We traveled together on the bus to school. We fell in love and married young in 1940. When I went to Paris for the first time, it was just before the war, and I thought the French had something special. For me, fashion was France. I used to buy all the French fashion journals and would take cuttings from them of the fashions I liked. One day, I told my husband that I didn't want to live off his money. I had to earn my own. I wanted to make a few dresses in my style and show them. Classic and simple. This is the fashion I will do. I liked sport and the beach and didn't like heavy things. So I went and bought a lightweight cotton poplin and made six dresses. At the time, I was surrounded by my intellectual friends. It amused them that I believed in all of this. We give it two weeks before she gives up, they said. I decided on a name as I couldn't use my family name. My family, out of snobbery, was already talking of how Gabby was working. People told me that because I had money, I shouldn't work. I had a friend whose name I loved, Chloe. So I asked her if I could borrow her name. I approached boutiques where I used to shop myself. They wanted to change my new Chloe label for their own. It was the norm for these boutiques to place their own label on the clothes they sold. But I had the sass to request that the Chloe label remain. When they received my dresses, they sold out almost immediately. My friends and I, artists, writers, thinkers, we were all leftists, spent a lot of time on the left bank in the café of Saint-Germain-des-Prés. I asked the owner of the Café de Flore if I could present my collection at the café over breakfast. This was completely new in 1956, and the press was delighted. In the early days of Chloé, I had no office. Everything happened at my house. Sometimes in that sitting room, there were five or six seamstresses and designers at the same time. It was the end of a war, and this was fun for us. Soon, a young German man, Karl Lagerfeld, arrived. I was a little reluctant to hire him, thinking Germans had questionable taste. I went on to love Karl and form a special working relationship with him that lasted over two decades. He was cultivated and an art lover too, but also his work ethic. Other designers would bring me two designs, Karl would bring me 20 within a day. I am an intellectual, even a little pretentious. At first, there was a theme to my names, such as painters and town names. Soon, I named each collection after a letter, with similarly high-cultured names within each, inspired by poets, composers, literary characters, but also popular culture. Fashion became something very important to me, because I wanted to make something of my own. When you're successful at something, it makes you very happy. Not because it brings you money, but because you're proud of it. If I had my time again, would I do anything differently? Not a thing.